So we've got the seed, the fruit, and the harvest. So after the seed comes and it's planted in somebody's life, we've got fruit. We've got fruit. What does the life of a disciple look like? Well, first of all, it's got to be prayer. It's got to be personal, daily commitment to prayer. Because the power of God comes through prayer. It's grace, right? That's what the power of God is. It's grace that's given to us. And for a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, it's forged in the fires of prayer. And I, I'll tell a lot of people that prayer is a, is a battle. I mean, there are times I don't want to go pray, that you don't want to go pray. And that's okay. It's okay. And I'd like you to imagine, you know, I'm a father. I got kids. And when my kids don't want to do something, what happens? I say, you have to do this thing. And they do it grudgingly. But if I say, do this thing, and they do it, and they do it easily, and it comes easily to them because they want to please their father, that's great. But really what I want is I want them to do it. So I want you to think about your father in heaven. Think about your father in heaven. When you don't want to pray, what is he thinking? He's not thinking, oh, you're a bad person. And he's not thinking, oh, you know what? I just want you to be successful in this. No, what he's thinking is just come be with me for a little while. And it may not feel good. And it may not be the greatest experience of your life. But here's the deal. When you pray and you don't want to, God smiles. He absolutely smiles. You put a smile on your father's face every time you pray and you don't want to. You may not be smiling, but he's smiling because he's happy because he knows that that fruit that's been planted in your life is starting to grow. That something's coming out of it. That you've made a conscious decision, an act of the will. I've said to God, I love you even when it don't, doesn't feel good, God. And if it doesn't feel good, that's okay. And this is the kind of fruit that a disciple needs to grow in. This daily, personal, intimate prayer, even when it doesn't feel good. Because once you establish that habit, it starts to spill out. You start to live more life of virtue. You start to choose things that you couldn't choose before because God's power has been tapped into your soul and now spills out into the actions of your life. And this is where we all want to be. This is what we want. We want to have that kind of power in our lives because later on that fruit will start to have seed itself. But that's for later. And be okay with the fact that God has a work to do in your life at this stage that he can't do it any other. And it's okay that it takes a while that God has to come and do this fruit and build this stuff because it's a work. And the Holy Spirit, I promise you, he's present and he's doing something with you. If only we just open up our hearts and say, God, I want you to come to my life in a more powerful way right now in my prayer. I don't feel you right now. And it's not real easy. But I want, to, I want you to do it, not me. And when we release ourselves, God comes and plants himself in our hearts. And that's what a life with a disciple looks like. That's where the fruit really happens. Mm -hmm.